Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello to you. Welcome back to the channel and sadly, welcome to my final evening in Auckland, New Zealand. This was just the first stop of this tour down under to New Zealand and Australia. But to get things wrapped up, I'm going to rewind a little bit back to my first video. You might remember that I said I had passed a certain yellow Ferrari F12 TDF. Well, I've managed to make contact with the owner of the car and we're going to be heading off to see his extraordinary collection. There is a LaFerrari Aperta there, there is the FTR TDF, a Speciale, so we're heading over there. But not just that, you've probably noticed by now that there is a Lamborghini Huracan behind me. That's not even just any normal Huracan. This is a twin turbo Huracan Avio and I'm going to be driving over with the owner of this car to the collection. So let me show you around this Huracan, then we'll get started on the road. But this should be pretty awesome, so stay tuned. A few words quickly about this car. It belongs to Chris, who goes by Fly Pelican Fly, as written on the side window. But this car has over a thousand horsepower. From Dime Racing in the US, it has a twin turbo kit fitted. So basically, it's ridiculously quick. It's an LP610 normally, 5.2 litre naturally aspirated V10, 610 horsepower. But this car has had quite a lot of work. You can actually see the turbos and the new carbon fiber boxes back here. It's got a completely new custom built exhaust system cat setup. So it sounds Sounds absolutely epic. I can tell you when it just arrived here a few minutes ago, the noise was out of this world. But I'm gonna jump into the driving seat in a second with Chris and we will take this car. <laughs> That's the Lamborghini reaction. I think it's a C63 as well. We're gonna take this car and head over to the collection, which is going to be absolutely epic. And I'm not gonna lie, I am rather looking forward to hearing this in a certain tunnel that we're gonna to have to drive through to get out of here. So let's jump in and get started and head over. Here we go then, in the Avio. Chris, how's it going? Good man, good to see you. Thank you very much. Guys, Chris, Fly Pelican Fly. Hey guys, how you going? Can I start this up? Yeah man, let's go. Make some noise. Oh, what have I done wrong? Okay, okay. V10 rumbling away. I'm a little bit nervous anticipation about this. What am nah, I in for here? Right. It's fun. It's definitely the fun. The yeah. last time I got put in a twin turbo Lamborghini, I didn't get told it was a twin turbo Lamborghini oh, until don't? I was driving it. Yeah. And then I put my foot down the first time and it was like, oh, you <laughs> you've definitely, got to be kidding me. You definitely know. Oh, we got a lot of traffic here. So, okay. All right then. You, you do get a sense immediately, just a tiny little press of the throttle, you can already feel <laughs> what this thing will do. So, let's just, as a trial and error, drop a gear. Goodness me, that's low revs. <laughs> I've got a small inkling where this is going. So we've got rolling anti-lag if you want that. Rolling anti-lag? Yeah, I don't know if you're gonna want that between so what, here what and there. What does that do? Uh, it pretty much just um, gets the boost up, so like, you know, say if you're rolling along, and you know, someone pulls up beside you and you want to race. Okay. Yeah, so you sort of, you hold down the M button here. Okay. When you're in Corsa, and then you just to the floor and yeah. it just get your revs right up. You take your finger off the ground, oh. just gets the builds the boost up. So it's the like a it's like a rolling launch control. Yeah, yeah. Ah, clever. I'm like jumping in massively at the deep end with this car and what you've actually done to it. So new twin turbos, yeah. new exhaust system, yeah. basically everything at the back end. Yeah. Completely. New ECU, Cyvex ECU, tuned heavily. Yeah. Yeah. And it's set up differently in the different driving modes, right? Yeah, so I'd spent about 50 hours on the dyno at Advanced Tuning really? in New Zealand. Wow. Yeah, okay. they did a um, ton of work to it. And um, so it's basically standard Hurricane, you've got three settings, mm -hmm. Strata, Sport, Corsa. Yeah. This is exactly the same, but each one has been remapped. Yeah. So you know, you get a new ECU or you dyno yeah, tune yeah. your car, you remap it. So remapped each one. And um, So what should I be driving in here? Sport? Is that sport, good? really. I'd pretty much drive a Corsa Manual and Sport. Yeah. That sound. Yeah, you can hear the turbo sport, you know. Oh yes. Yeah. What's really cool to me though is that you took a special edition Lamborghini. Yeah. The Avio, there are only 250 of them. Yeah. And made it even cooler. I mean it has the distinct uh, livery, the design on the outside, but yeah. it's also running lower, isn't it? It's lower. Yeah, it is a little bit lower, yeah. You can hear it there just sort of scraped on yeah. the road. So if you do want to rev it. <laughs> That's like not even a proper rev. Yeah, go on. <laughs> I feel like 
feel like I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> Every head turns to the like. You don't actually hear it when the windows are up. Yeah. So when you put them down, it's just it's a touchdown. We've arrived at our destination and it has to be said there are man caves and then there are man caves. This is my dream for the future and the first car right here is a LaFerrari Aperta. There are not very many of those, 210 in the world. One of only, well maybe one of only one, one of two, I'm not even sure here in New Zealand. Then we have the 458 Speciale in the launch specification with the Nart styled stripe, hence the number plate. But at the back here, if we come past the 812 Superfast, and you'll notice just how much memorabilia is around, and a racing simulator, we have a 599 GTO. We have that TDF. That is the car that I drove past the other day. It has found me, and the owner has allowed me to come along today and have a little look at it. Oh, it's got the painted shield on the side, rather than the uh, um, normal style crest that it would have. But this is the car. It's actually quite amazing to have found it. Told you guys it had F12 on the number plate. It's funny, I never thought I'd actually manage to find the car, but literally only a handful of them here in New Zealand. And then obviously next to the TDF is, I suppose it's spiritual predecessor on the previous generation, but the 599 GTO with the red and the satin black. And there's so much cool merchandise here. This is literally the dream. You've got the luggage set from a Testarossa from a Ferrari Testarossa, you've got the briefcase from an F40. So many race suits and bits and pieces and souvenirs from the automotive world. Lots and lots of Ferrari in here. And come over here, we've got helmets, we've got steering wheels, we've got model cars, we've got books. I'm actually in complete heaven just looking around here. And by the way, there's also an upstairs bit just up there where everyone is at the moment. We'll head up there in a second. But the 812 super fast in the satin silver. The second one of them to even arrive here in New Zealand. Come and have a look at the interior of this car. Specification. How cool is that? The chocolate coloured seats, the red floor mats on the satin silver car. I love the 812. It's got the TDF wheels on it. And the lights, the way the lights shine. And also, look, there's a Ferrari bin right there. Maybe that's where we should put the Lamborghini key. No, <laughs> not for now. Anyway. <laughs> oh my gosh, just come around. Racing suits, this is cool. Oh, and yes, a Rolls-Royce Wraith. I nearly didn't mention the Wraith. My gosh, you can tell guys that this is absolute heaven. This is such, such a cool car collection. <laughs> I, I don't really know what to say. Um, massive thanks to the owner for the opportunity to come and have a look here. Just dreamland. I would, I mean, if, if I was here, I would just, spend all of my time here and I think the owner spends a fair bit of time in the office upstairs just having a look over but literally this is you know everything historical memorabilia stickers from the uh, car numbers from the events and things incredible so venturing upstairs not only is there an awesome view over the cars down below just with the nose of the TDF popping out but if I come over here there is some awesome stuff as well Helmets from Formula One drivers, a Michael Schumacher helmet right here. But I particularly like that Ferrari gave as a gift to all LaFerrari owners a model, one of the amalgam models of their car in the exact spec. So that's the LaFerrari Aperta, as we've seen downstairs. And here is the particularly famous box that was sent out to customers when they were invited to purchase a LaFerrari Aperta that came with the key inside. You might have seen that before, but really in quite a fun way to go about it. And some Ferrari Challenge trophies, um, victorious in those, and the LaFerrari Coupe model as well from the former car. Well then, it's fair to say, that was pretty epic. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, absolutely, man. Driving, 
driving in your car is pretty awesome, so thank you for that. But a huge thanks to the owner of that Ferrari collection because really and truly, I, I mean, I, yeah. I didn't expect to, to find that. I never expected to, to see that TDF again after the first time I had seen it, but absolutely awesome place. Like a dream man cave. Yeah, absolutely well, dream. That's like stepping into a Ferrari museum or something. Yeah, yeah almost with all, all of the stuff that was around, but that's literally what I kind of dream of. But now that we're back out on the road, Sound the good news. Right, there we go. Blinky. <laughs> Those backfire crackles. Is this a car or is this a machine gun? And now, sadly, it is the very final part of my adventure here to Auckland. So I'm actually back in the 570S to head over towards the airport for my flight and now down towards Christchurch. We are following the Avio, so we will probably get a little bit more noise on our way towards the airport. But otherwise, that has been an awesome day. And that noise with those revs actually hurt my ears. That was quite ridiculous and very flamey. As expected, it was seriously, seriously noisy. Anyway, we are gonna head now in the 570S over towards the airport. It is time for my flight down towards Christchurch to, to say farewell to Auckland. It's been an awful lot of fun. We'll see Chris later. Huge thanks to him for the, <laughs> for the drive in that ridiculous machine. I'm just watching flames popping out of the black back of it still. Anyway, flight down to Christchurch, Auckland. This leg has been an incredible start to this adventure in New Zealand. Giltrap Group have been amazing. The cars that I've been driving and the places that I've been today has just been icing on the cake as the final stop here in the city. But what an adventure so far. Thank you very much to everyone involved. Thank you to you guys as well for coming to the meeting and for those of you who are watching the videos. I appreciate it an awful lot. Anyway, I am totally zapped. So I'll get myself down to Christchurch and I will catch up with you again very, very soon. Thanks for watching as always. Cheers.